Seen it all through it. Don't stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Yeah, yeah, what is good besides everything? Everything's perfect. Good morning. What's good? Welcome to Dunk Life Daily, bro. Man, talk about dunking. We talk about life and we do it daily. Pretty simple, huh? Just like jumping higher. God, if I sent you this video and you're here because you asked me for the secret, special welcome to you. If you think there's a secret by now, my goodness. I mean, oh, baby, this is it. Here comes the secret. Oh, damn it. Like Oprah, the book, The Secret. We're opening it up. Chapter one, nothing, dude. No secret. God, I have, I have 40,000 videos on YouTube. If there was a secret, would I have posted 14,000 million videos on YouTube? No. All right. I get that question too much. I'm actually getting it more now because I'm finally making progress, which is both a compliment and even more confusing. It's a compliment because now I'm, I'm actually jumping higher. Like, what? what how, how, how are you doing it? But number two is like, it's been three years since I gained half an inch. So doesn't that seem like there's not much of a secret? Maybe I just found out the secret, actually. Perspective, okay, I got to stay present. Make sure, may, look at from their perspective that they're, maybe they're like, okay, he learned, he just learned the secret after eight, eight years. It's been about eight years of training. I think this August will be eight years. Yep. Eight, no, 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 like this September, whatever it was. Yeah, training for eight years, aka no secret. I'll give you the basic principles, which I do think is very helpful, but it's like climbing a mountain. You see somebody at the top and they came back down. You're like, how'd you get up there? They're like, I climbed the goddamn thing. How'd you climb it? I started walking. And then you learn as you go. Obviously, there's a lot of tips and advice that person can give. That's my entire YouTube channel. But I'll give you the basic principles. And it's super simple, but it's a lot of hard work. And this goes for all of life. You got to get started and you got to put in the work and you got to learn what works for you. Hence the mountain analogy. That one person might need 17 granola bars every mile. One guy might need an extra hour of sleep. So the point is you have to start training to understand what you need. But the basics are strength and speed, simple physics, you're jumping procedure, <laughs> your jumping mechanics are producing force. You want to be explosive. That's force. Power is strength and speed. How fast you can move strength, right? That's producing an amount of force. Daniel Beck says this really well on his video. Just look up at the performance window. I think you can find it on jump science. You have a performance window, right? Right now, a lot of you playing hooping and stuff like that probably jump, have some good days, bad days, some of you may dunk, whatever it is, but you've probably noticed you have some good days and bad days. That's just when you're fresh. That's just when you've been playing hoops, maybe like two, three times a week instead of like off for two weeks. But when you're feeling good, you shake off all the rust, you're probably jumping at the top of your window. Push yourself a little more. So you could just a quick example. If you could touch the room with your fingertips, try to touch down your fingers. If you could touch it with your palm, try to touch like your wrist, just reach for a few weeks, try to reach Reach and push yourself to jump as high as you can. I did that for my first year or two of training, just jumped a lot, but I had a lot of strength in me from the beginning. Anyway, the point is just jumping is a great way to start. Get to the top of your window. You'll feel faster. Just do all agility speed work to get yourself to the top of the window. Now to raise the actual window, because if you're at the top of the window, that's that's the max force you can produce with your current strength strength level. You have to raise your window by strength training. You have to get stronger. I have a whole podcast with Daniel back on jump science. The hardest part is to get significantly stronger. When you're early on in training, if it's your first strength phase, you're going to make strength gains. If you've never lifted before, that's going to be easy. So you're going to, if you're looking at the video podcast, you're going to raise your window. But then since you're now lifting more than you're jumping, you still want the jumping focus in your head. 
you might be jumping at the bottom of your new raised window. So the bottom of your if your new window is lower than your top of your old window, so you're jumping lower. But that's just because you're not at the you're at the bottom of the window. So then you do the strength, you raise your window, then you do some power ju- power lifting, which is um, lighter weight, not as heavy to get s- significantly strong. But now you're trying to move weight faster, and you kind of gradually come out of that strength phase, and then and then you. While you're in that power phase going, doing faster movements, you gradually move into a speed phase. We do plyometrics and just your sports specific training of speed, elastic work. But it, I want you to know the mindset behind it. And then you go back to the top of the window, hence you're jumping higher. I want you to know the mindset behind it. You have to understand what you're doing. So a couple tests that I like are just when you're jumping, how do you land? Do a depth jump, depth jump with <laughs> Jesus when you jump off a box. When you land and you try to land and jump fast, do you land really light and quick or do you la- land light and heavy? I mean, uh, heavy and loud, like where you land and hit the ground, like really solid. Do you feel light on your feet? Record yourself. Do you look quick? Compare yourself. I have 13 trillion videos on YouTube. Watch my videos. You can see the difference. Sometimes I'm super fast. Sometimes I'm very slow and controlled. Which one are you? Start learning about yourself. Do you feel powerful? Do you feel fast? Um, and then start lifting. But uh, the other principle I want to mention when you're training is that if you're going to do strength training, which you have to do when you start your strength phase, give one day of jumping or at least a little bit of plyometrics, something just to keep your focus on it or just gauge where you're at. You might not even need to do that. But someone like me is like when I strength trains, I was doing it improperly. So I was doing the wrong rep ranges and look that up. I read books on strength training. I read m- multiple books on health and, and just training in general. But There's different ways you break down the muscle. All this comes with learning. That's why there's no secret. You have to learn how your body responds because my body's different from the years of training I did before dunk training. I used to lift a lot and just lift heavy weight, so my body responded to that quickly, but your body might not. Like, for example, some people are super lean but they can and super skinny looking, but they can lift way more than me. So that's why they jump higher because they have a smaller body mass, but they can they're stronger. I sometimes when I lift heavy, I blow up quick and I get really big and stocky. But I also had to learn how to lift properly. You don't want to just like break down muscle and build size. So look up how to uh, build strength without building size and, and what causes size building so you understand what you're doing in the gym. Because if I just tell you to go lift a certain rep ranges, you might be pushing too fast. You might be pushing um, not enough. You got to learn the intensity in which to lift and learn the intensity in which to push your body and how to re- how to understand the stimulus you're giving your body. That, if there was a secret, that would be the secret. Understanding the stimulus you're giving to your body in order for it to react accordingly. But you want to get stronger, you want to get faster, keep jumping. The, the strength phase, you might not need to jump as much or just a little bit, but I like to do like once a week. Again, my YouTube, I have my whole strength phase. I started this past November. Um, and you can see me go th- from knee pain to no knee pain to strength training to power training to jumping. I started with fucking baby jumps. Go watch it. And the other thing about this, about the life part of this, is never give up. If you want that mountain, which is dunking, you can't give up. You got to stay consistent. That's why it's dunk life daily. Every little thing you can learn from, you got to prioritize your health. You got to stay healthy. That's a really big key is staying healthy. Work at it. Keep working at it. It's like keep yourself on these bumpers. It's like you keep doing things. You might fail here and there, but if you keep having more wins than failures, you're going to make progress. You got to stay consistent. You got to keep working and you got to never give up if you want it. And the thing is, sometimes your mountain, as you see it, it's like, that's a sick mountain. This happens to me a lot, but it's like, do I even, when you're halfway up the mountain, it's like, is it worth it? I talked about that when I read the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Um, Sometimes that mountain view changes for you. It's like, it looks cool because other people are doing it, but there's so many things that I think are look cool. Like, uh, friggin BMX biking. It's like, that looks sick. I would love to be amazing at that, but it just doesn't do it for me. Like it's not my passion. Jumping has always been my passion and dunking. So, but I see that all the time. It's like, whenever I see somebody really good at something, you want to do it. So give it a shot and d- go do it, but it's okay if it changes as well. So make sure you're climbing the right mountain of passion and make sure, uh, and then never give up if you really want it. And that's really it. So secret to jumping, non-existent. I hope this This is my biggest video on YouTube and that question is never asked again. I'll take it as a compliment because 
I'm so present in the moment and I understand that everybody's looking for that answer. But if there was a quick fix, I mean, good. What are you doing? Think about yourself. I've been thinking about myself plenty. I'm very aware. Ask yourself, why am I asking for this secret? I want it now. Oh, if I wanted it now, don't you think every single you get it? Okay. Have a great friggin' Tuesday. Um, I had to get this out there because I got this question too much. And now I'm going to send all you dinguses to this video so you can watch it. <laughs> all love, though. It's all love. Thank you for watching. Had a great dunk session on Sunday. Looking forward to my best day this week, actually. My boy Justin's coming to town. We're going to dunk. I'm going to dunk with a few friends. I'm peaking because I'm in my elastic phase because I did my work. I put in my work. God damn it. I've been strength training for freaking years, bro. Uh. Yeah, I, I had like one of my best days ever in November 2017, had a great day, la great day last year after dunk camp around this time in 2018, and then this past couple weeks, another great day. So it's like one week a year I've been doing like t about the same. So I'm trying to make progress. I'm sticking with it, and it takes time. Be patient. Keep working. DLD, Dunk Life Daily. We out. One more. Wait. Toodaloo. Day that's dunk life. Oh. The anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem.